Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizons series. Now, it started raining, and I noticed when I looked out my window here, it is not raining in this little part, like almost like a desert biome. But it is raining right here, and I'm almost wondering... If I move this over, is this going to be considered in a wet biome? Or would that just be kind of like a regular biome? Um, but I'm assuming since it's not like raining, like this is considered almost like a desert. Um, river hot, river wet. Yeah, see that? So is this considered a desert? I am. And there's the wet again. So I'm thinking I may actually move this over. It's going to be sticking out, unfortunately. I'm thinking maybe the center block, because these railcraft things, the center block is what determines So this is a lot of water in here. But you know what? I think I'm going to try this. I lost one. What the bell? So if we do this, let me go get that really quick. Fortunately, I lost 232 buckets worth of water there, but um, not really using the boilers at this exact moment. But I'm thinking, hoping that. Oops, is that right? No, that's right. If I just move this over one. Maybe it'll be better. Yeah. All right. So I was off by one whole, one little block. I was off by that. So there we go. Yeah. The center block is so whatever biome that is in determines the humidity level. So and I didn't realize this hot was different. I thought. Because if you look on the minimap, it's not changing. It's not saying like river hot or river wet. So I never noticed that. It changed there, but sometimes it takes a second. Um, but yeah, all right. I just thought I'd show that because that was I thought that was kind of interesting. Ironically, though, I don't. Well, I don't know if I need a trapdoor. Like, since it's not raining, there's no physical water, is this considered raining on this tile? I don't think it does. Why isn't that closing? That was weird. Alright, so last episode we crafted the basic steam turbine. We got some coke oven bricks from that and some shrimp, pork, okra, hush puppies. Coke oven bricks. Don't know if I'm going to be using these. Uh, maybe if I get some better... I might be using them. If I can come up with a tree farm or something like that to feed into coke ovens to get charcoal or something, maybe we'll use them. So I'll put those... Yeah, I'll store those. Um, one of the things I wanted to do, though, is I want to craft a filing cabinet. So, I need these double iron plates. I'm assuming... Alright, no, it's the bending machine to put them together. Otherwise, I have to do it manually, which is fine. So, I just figured... Do this. What else do I need for... I should probably make two of these, to be honest. So, I can turn that into one. Actually, no. I'm not going to do that. So, double iron plates, two iron screws. I'm going to try to maybe not do all this microcrafting so so much of it while recording, because how many times do you need to see me like make screws? Um, but... Um, yeah, I haven't... Man, I keep confusing this between the other mod pack 
So this is, yeah, that's what I thought. Now this one you can use different um, you can use like different um, types of wood. Still don't know why that trapdoor didn't, but I haven't exactly looked into it much. Alright, so there's the chest. What was it? Two screws like that. That. Oops. Screwdriver, hammer. Oh shoot, I need to make more chests, don't I? For the filing cabinet, I need just two regular chests on it, don't I? Yep. Right. Easy enough, though. I find it's good to have two of these, two or more, of these crafting tables. So like, if I'm doing some big craft, I'll put all the, as I go, I will fill this one up. And then I'll use the other ones to do the actual crafting. Let's see, I need four. Four plates and then... Man, these screws, I hate them. And luckily, this seems to, like, attach. So I don't know if it's, like, a, considered, like, multi-block or how that works. All right, so this should be the... Filing cabinet, is it that? Yeah. There's the filing cabinet. Do I want another filing cabinet or a loot bag? I really don't know what I would use that for, to be honest. I know that's like a whole bunch of iron and stuff. Yeah, I almost want the loot bag. So that gives me food and stuff. Well, that was completely not helpful. Learned my lesson there. <laughs> Although jungle sapling might be something. Alright, but the reason I wanted to do this filing cabinet here... Um, temporary kind of right there just make sure all right I can I wanted to take out all these um, see if I can get this done I call this because my my food situation is a mess. And I'm assuming these can all go in here, yeah. And I'm not going to do it right now, but I think I'm going to change all these things. Like these Brussels sprouts, I probably were not going to use. I'm going to turn those into seeds and put all the seeds in here. Um, just so I can get um, my food under control. And then I will... Um, just have one chest of actual prepared food, I think, is the plan. And then I'm going to use one of these iron chests for this. Um, so actually, let me do this, um, get this organized, and then we will come back. All right, I have sort of sorted this out. I got all my different types of seeds in here. And in case you didn't know... The filing cabinets, for some reason I thought you could only put one type of things in, like so I could only put, if I put one seed in, I could only put seeds in, but that is not how it works. Um, you can put like a whole bunch of different stuff in, but it needs to have, like if we see the crop 
pomegranate, it'll list all fruit, like an or dictionary thing. If it doesn't have an or dictionary, like this doesn't have an or dictionary, I can't put that in. But like since it says list all veget veggie or crop lettuce, any of this stuff you can, but like bread I can't. So that was actually kind of cool to know. I didn't realize that's how it actually worked. I mean, it makes sense because I think it goes off whatever value, MBT or metadata, I don't remember. Don't quote me on that, I'm totally guessing, but... Anyway, so I got that sorted out. Now, the other thing, I'm getting low on some... like, tin, I'm gonna need a lot of tin and iron coming up, and I need to make more steel and all sorts. So I really want to make the tool forge, so I can um, get a hammer. So I can um, the mine in a, a bigger radius because using the pickaxe, although it works, it's just it's quite slow when I'm mining out huge veins. Um, so I have made the blocks of iron that I need for it. And it looks like you can use any of the blocks, but yeah, like you can use diamond. Sure, why not? Cobalt, I don't have like any of these, so. Although I can use bronze, I think. Tin. Bronze, yeah. I think just iron is easier. I had an iron block anyway. So, we got I need to make a tool station, which is a bit of a pain. Is it that? Or how do you make a crafting table again? I feel like it's this, right? Yeah. And then... The crafting station is... Oh, it's just that cut in half. But this, you need a blank... I'm probably gonna make have to make new patterns too. Yeah, so just sticks and so soft hammer, hard hammer, wrench. What was it again? Soft hammer, and then cut this in half, and that gives us the tool station. So why don't we put it in this one? So there's that. Let's put the blocks of iron down. Oh, I actually got the another seared stone. So I'll cut that in half. There's those. All right. So last thing we need is the alumite large. But is there any other use for the steered stone the slab? No, absolutely no other use. So off the side you go. That was a fail. There we go. <laughs> so the alumite is, as we remember, these require, how many is it? Is it eight? Or is that nine? How many millibuckets, is, how many ingots is that? I'd uh, do math here. Yeah, that's eight ingots. That's what I thought. So I need 16 ingots of alumite, and if we look at this, I'm going to need quite a lot of aluminum here. I don't think I have enough. Where did I put this? Might as well just melt all these down, I think. Just throw them in there, I guess. Now it's 16 millibuckets each, I think, isn't it? Oh wait, so that's for 80. I'm just realizing like 80 millibuckets is 80 millibuckets is four nuggets. It's four, two, and two basically. Four nuggets of aluminum, 
two nuggets of steel, two nuggets of Sabina. Is that right? No. I don't know. I'm confusing my... Uh, five, it's five, two, and two. Okay, there we go. That's what I meant. Not four. Wow. So five nuggets, two, and two. All right. So that kind of gives me a little... That only gets you... That only gets you two nuggets. All this stuff gets you two nuggets of opalamites. I mean... And then I need... What do I, how many do I need? I need 1152 millibuckets times two, which is 2,304. I need to do this craft 72 times. That is a lot, actually. Is that what I was talking about with the other thing? The If we do it with the dust? Because I get nine ingots worth of that if I do that. Okay, so I think we should maybe... I need to figure out how to spell this. I don't think smelting it down is the correct way to do that. Because I would have to use... Is that... It's getting the aluminum dust, though, is an issue. I really have no way to get aluminum dust unless I find it. Because I can't do any of these things yet. Um, let me... Let me see if I can... Can I, like, turn this into... Yeah, let me look this up, or not look it up, but let me see if I can figure out the best way to do this. Okay, so after doing some calculating, it, I figured out that we need, if you do it with the, the smelting way, the recipe, if you do it with this, you need, I think, 350 nuggets of molten aluminum-ish. So it's five each, and you need to do the 72 times, so about 350 nuggets. Um, but if you do it the other way, it's only... If you do craft the dust, it's less. It's much less. Um, the problem is... Oh, yeah, like this. Trying to get this is... Um, I totally forgot where... Where's the dust? It's not that one. See, that one. That's what I was looking for. So yeah, it's five aluminum. You need to do this twice because I need 18. So you need 10 ingots worth. And 10 ingots worth is like 1,400. So it's about 80 nuggets that I would need to do that. So I'm thinking if I can smelt the aluminum in here with like the nuggets that I'm doing and cast them, then maybe I can actually macerate them down to get the dust? I don't know. I have no idea if this is going to work. But I figured, hey, why not? Let's try it out. So does this work pouring this into a cast? It does. So I can turn the, yeah, the aluminum into... Oh, okay, so that is the thing. Oh, I can't pulverize that down, though. See, that's perfect. It doesn't give me ingots. Okay, so that kind of does make sense. I was a bit... Because I felt like that was kind of skipping progression if I could do it like that. But that totally... I think that's pretty cool, actually. Um, like, you can't make the aluminum ingots in the smeltery. Because that is, no, not is it that one. I don't know which one it is. Is it aluminium? Is that how it's called? Yeah. 
So this, you can't make this in the smeltery, which makes sense because this is like a, a gate to uh, the MVH. Yeah. But okay, so basically what I'm going to do is, so there's our dust. I have two steel dust. I can just macerate that down. I have a couple obsidian. Well, I need, actually I need four each. And uh yeah, unfortunately I can't do this all right away because I basically need to wait for the stuff to grow. Um, I may ex is that a spider? What is that? A rare fireballsy web spider of turtling. <laughs> Holy cow. Terrifying. Things that we're not going to be messing with. Because I only have... I have three armor. So, yeah. These, uh... I feel like these infernal mobs don't despawn. Like, during the day, like a lot of them do. I have to, like, run away. Okay, but anyway, let me get these... Uh, it's going to take a while for... Obviously, the the nuggets to kind of grow. Um, so I may go expand that. Um, though I have three ingots already. So, but anyway, yeah, let me cut here and we will come back. All right. So as I was kind of doing other things, I managed to drown during. I had managed to drown here on dry land, so not entirely sure how that happened. Um, hey buddy. There was like a infernal mob off, but it was like way in the distance, and it was like, I don't know what it was doing, but somehow I managed to drown on dry land. So yeah, I just figured I would <laughs> show that, because I found that a bit interesting. And such a pain because I don't have any tools on me. Did that cause uh, it causes all your stuff to to break? All right, I I know I should probably use these like shields more. Does this go? All right, so maybe I need to kind of get better at doing this. I'm just so not used to having a. My sword is always in my third slot, so like this feels pretty weird. I don't know. We'll uh, we can try it out. I think. I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, what I was doing was um, creating a new. Cause I hate that little co cobblestone box. And I figured I would create kind of like a new underground farm. And I'm actually going to plant these. Because I can get glowstone from these. So I think that's... Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Wrong thing. Um, let's do, I'll do 16. Two rows of eight, because that's kind of what all my other stuff is. All right. But yeah, what I was doing while I was going to see, I'm like, I feel weird not holding my sword. I like having the sword up when I don't have another tool. Is I crafted a kind of underground little farm, and this is where I'm going to farm my, um, the aluminum. And I'm just, I think I'm going to do water in these two, and then, wait, is that going to work? That's not going to work, is it? No, because this one, no matter where I put, if I put the water, this center block is not going to be reached. And then mobs can spawn on it. Unless I do like a half slab. But then that kind of just defeats the purpose of 
doing what I was planning on doing. All right, but anyway, let me let me cut again, and then we'll come back uh, when I get enough aluminum. All right, so I have kind of set up my underground farm here, and I noticed if you put torches, a few up, you can actually have some light in here, and they can continue to grow. So it's a bit of a pain that you take damage from them, but uh, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to finish that in between episodes at least, or maybe I'll finish it at the very beginning of the next episode, creating the tool forge and such. But I think while those are growing, I think we need to figure out how we are going to place the machines. Now, I have this basic steam turbine here. And I'm trying to think, eventually I want to replace all these with the electrical versions. But I'm thinking for now, how do I want to... Steam lining is underneath. I wonder if I could just do... Should I throw it on the end? Kind of like for now? I could move all these down. Maybe I'll do that. Like if I do... Problem is this isn't big enough, so I may need to... Craft, and ironically I just broke my... <laughs> my bronze pipe, or my alloy smelter, which uses to boost bronze. I need one more bronze. That should be okay for like one craft. But if I do this, it's going to fill up with steam. I think it's 16,000. Okay, it's more than 16,000. Oh, 24,000. It says right there on the tool belt. So it'll take 24,000, but it's not going to be producing. Like, it's not draining. That's the, uh, the alloy smelter draining that. But if it's not running, it's not going to be... Um, it won't be uh, using up steam... So I'm kind of just trying to think. I don't think you can put this on top. No, you can't. Like the uh, the outputs. Maybe. See, I can't have it back here either because these are the outputs. Um, yeah, I really got to figure out how I want to do this now. Um, let me craft. These now it was like this, wasn't it? Or the medium ones, I want to say. Nope, that's tiny. There we go. So the medium sized pipes did not mean to fall. And I left my wrench in the <laughs> crafting table. Left click, and I fell again. <laughs> so that's all right. So that will do the alloy smelter. Um, but the first machine I want to do is the. I really should have this up one. Now that I'm looking at this, maybe have the steam thing here so I can do a row on top. Um, I'm going to figure this out, kind of how I want to have this all placed. But um, if I can craft the wire mill, I think it's going to be the first thing I do. 
And I did notice in the coin, I forget where it is, coins, 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 you can buy parts. And I think I'm actually going to turn in a bunch of these to buy these parts. I have lots and lots of them. And that'll just kind of help with crafting some of these early machines. So hopefully that is enough. Yeah. That didn't even use that many, to be honest. Um, but I might as well. So that kind of boosts that. Now if I... What's the cooldown on this? 20 minutes? Yeah, not bad at all. So if we look at the wire mill... Actually, there's a couple more that I want to turn in. Red LA cable. And tin cable. So there we go. Did I turn this in? Does it just go? Ah, since it's a repeatable quest, it'll probably go blue on the cooldown ends. But anyway, so that's just kind of boosting that a bit. Uh, I need to. Circuits, I believe. No, just circuit. I could spell. So I need two of these. And what am I missing? Steel casings. Does this give me one or three? I don't remember. And I need couple motors, or I need four motors. Let me get the rest of these machines going, and then uh, I'll be back. All right, so I got all the parts. Uh, relatively easy. Motors, some circuits, and a hull, and that is the basic wire mill. And let's just go ahead and... Oh, I forgot to claim this. So this is giving me 30 coins, so I feel like changing them in for some of these annoying to make components is 100% worth it. No more wasting gazillions of ingots just for a couple wires. Exactly. So yeah, I'm very happy with crafting the basic wire mill. One of the first, um, first election machines. Now, I still haven't, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but for now I'm just going to place this down here. That should be getting power um, when I um, put the um, the ingots in here. That should just feed it, and then I'll use steam. But as we can see, it's not using any steam right now. But let me go ahead and just test this out. How about we do how about eight? We'll throw them in and see how this does. So there we go. It's crafting the wire mills or the wires, and you get two to one ingot, as opposed to, I forget what it was, one and a half ingots per wire, or something like that, crazy. But there we go. So it is using steam, it's getting enough steam. So one of those large bronze pipes is supplying enough steam to this, obviously, because I have a large backlog, and we can see how much it's actually using. Um, but yeah, I would like to work towards batteries. I really like batteries. Um, but we're not quite there yet. I need to finish this quest here, which I have found the ore vein. Um, but stibonite is not the easiest to find. It's quite sporadic throughout the vein. So I want to get my... Um, the... Um, the hammer before I end up getting into that because uh, it'll just be easier collecting the stipendite. Um But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So didn't make a whole lot of progress, but we did get our first electronic machine. And uh, we will figure out where we go from there. Alloy smelter. Um, I don't know if I quite need that yet. Um... 
There's a polarizer, but redstone isn't that difficult to find. So thermal centrifuge. Yeah, definitely don't need that yet. I know it opens up other stuff. Um, but yeah, probably looking into maybe some of these quests. I want to, another one I want is a bending machine. That is another really important one. And if we look at the recipe, it needs electric pistons. So I think the electric piston quest is probably the next thing I'm going to do because it'll probably unlock uh, the quest to make this. And this will get me cheaper plates. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.